What's up guys, Sanitary here. Hope you guys are having a good day. Thanks for watching yet another video. So uh, the other uh, morning, I was getting ready to go for work. I was getting ready, um, combing my hair, putting on my uh, medical scrubs. I work in a hospital, doing all that jazz, brushing my teeth. And then all of a sudden I was ready to go to work. And all of a sudden I started to get a bloody nose. Then it got me thinking, man, I haven't had one. Well, I get them not that often anymore, but it brought me back uh, about 10 years ago. Uh, back in my, uh, actually over 10 years ago, um, back in my college days, uh, when I was like 19 or 20, uh, I was away in college in the dorms, and there was a point in which I was getting a bloody nose like three or four times a week. It was getting ridiculous. It got to the point where I was getting so paranoid that I was going to get a bloody nose at any time that while I was in class, I was worried that during an exam or just in general being in class, I would get a bloody nose and people would probably start looking at me like, what the heck is this? What's wrong with this guy? Is he unhealthy? Is he, you know, hitting, hitting that nose candy? Is he uh, taking drugs or what? So when that happened, I um, went to the on-campus, they had like this uh, on-campus um, health center that was, um, it was like, I think it was free or a yeah, I believe it was free for basically for students that don't have health insurance, which the majority of us don't because we don't have jobs and we're students. So I went in and I saw the doctor and I had no idea what it was. And the one thing that he told me, and that's one of the reasons why I want to do this video is to, you know, share with you guys a single important tip that I got from this doctor to help prevent nosebleeds. And now there's tons of videos on if you Google how to stop a nosebleed from happening, but the best thing to do is to try to prevent it from occurring in the first place. So anyway, uh, I go see the doctor and he asked me if I have allergies. Have you had a lot of allergies lately? Have you been rubbing your nose a lot? And I was like, you know what? I, I kind of have been, you know, my nose has been a little itchy. I've been getting a lot of Kleenex and blowing my nose really hard. And he's like, you just have to cut that down. You can't blow your nose too hard. If you use some uh, good old Kleenex, do not rub it all crazy and insane and just you got to go really gently don't go too vigorously with your nose because there are blood vessels inside your nose and if you start to rub it really hard and when you do that your blood vessels are going to get ruptured and they will regenerate but they're going to be more prone to bloody noses so ever since about 10 or 15 years ago when that happened i catch myself once in a while rubbing my nose too much and then what happens i get a bloody nose it's usually my left nostril not my right for whatever reason. So if you have a lot of allergies and or you tend to blow your nose really, really hard or you're like me and you like to just rub it really hard, do not do that. Cut that down and be really gentle with your nose. And there's a good chance that the majority of your bloody noses, the occurrences of bloody noses will go down. Other small factors to consider, uh, you definitely want to stay hydrated in general, drink a lot of water. And also uh, during months in which it gets really, really cold, uh, you might be tempted. I even have one right here. I have a portable heater. This is a great, this is a, oh, whoops. This is a Holmes uh, portable heater. I use this when it gets kind of cold sometimes in my house, but that can really dry out your nose, okay? So don't be putting this thing right in your face, okay? It's gonna dry out your skin, it's gonna dry out your nose, and it's gonna increase your chances of getting a bloody nose. All right, guys, that's my time for now. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, comments and questions are always welcome. Thank you for all your continued support. I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye.